was the wrong thing. Do you have a, a thing that you saw how to do this? Did you see how this could be done? Mm -mm. Presented? I see it uh, as a movie actually. Because the strongest part for me is that uh, all the visual things, the places, which I know actually and which makes sense for me that I know, I know how this place looks now and it's very strong to read how it was, who lived there, who acted there mm -hmm. and all these atmospheric things. Yeah, well, the thing about it is, um, if we have a narrator, let's say you have a narrator of some sort, if there's a narrator to pull this all together, uh, maybe, you know, um, there's a great poet uh, who died young, his name was I think his name was Moshe Kaplan, and Moshe Kaplan was the, the poet who wrote Vilna, a great poem that took many years to translate. And it's about a man who, a spirit that's on the rooftop in Vilna, and he spends the night going and floating the spirit all over Vilna and describing what he sees and what, and what he does. But it's not, it's, it's a very complicated poem. It's, filled with bad and good and this and that, but mostly embedded with blood and life. And the spirit runs around and, mm. and, you know, he died before the Holocaust. He was killed by the Russians as a spy. I don't know if he really was a spy. But at that time, the Russians were very, because of Trotsky, mm. were very frightened of the Jews, that the Jews would join Trotsky and Stalin was afraid that he would mm. get killed. So. He was one of the intellectuals who was killed by the Russians, very young, but he was kind of a genius poet. But maybe we could find a narrator like that poem is. It's not just a straight narration. It's, it's a thrilling narration, you know, it's a, one visiting and bringing up everything in a very deep way. Mm -hmm. so maybe, maybe there's some situation that uh, there's something like like that. In my mind, it reminds me a little bit of, we did a play years ago in Washington, D.C., and then in Broadway, called Indians. It was about the um, destruction of the Indians in, in the Dakotas, in the north of the United States. And it was about, um, you know, we wanted their oil and, you know, and all this and that, you know, so. It was when we, and the gold in the Black Hills of the Dakotas, America negotiated with them, but stole everything from them. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, they died. They died of, of freezing, they died of starvation, and they died of diphtheria, they died. And so what we did was, it had a folkloric quality, not a literal quality, but like, like you're describing. So, like, I don't think we started that way, but a cloth we had, like, like a cloth that covered the ground. And, um, and then uh, maybe one or two people come out on the cloth and say, I'm so-and-so. But at the end of our play, because it was written during Vietnam, we wanted to show some similarity to genocide, to killing of the, in, in Vietnam and the Indians. So at the very end, we had a cloth and they came out one by one and they stood. It was in an arena. We did it in an arena, a big round stage. They came out and they said, I am sitting grass. After you've seen him through the whole play, I am sitting grass. He would stand there and say, I am dying. And slowly he would walk and walk and walk to fall upon the white cloth, which was snow. Mm -hmm. Then another person would come out and say, I am Big Eagle. 
I am from the so-and-so tribe. I am dying slowly or felt until 